Playful. This involves taking time to enjoy the person you love. If you are so concerned with making sure that your love life is perfect, then you won't enjoy it at all. However, if all you want is fun, you won't really help that person. A humorous phrase used by the guru Osho states that when you stop being playful, you stop being lovers and become married. Control Freak This is usually caused because the person has been given an unrealistic ideal about love and is hell-bent to make it happen, even if the other person is incapable of reaching that expectation. It usually involves a lot of trying to change that person to the point that the person either snaps or gets chased off or lets themselves be controlled. Puppy Love this is the good feeling love that actually doesn't go very deep and is usually very fleeting. Warm feelings are great and great driver for caring for someone, but they don't always stick around. In fact, there will be many dry spells without them, but you stick it out because you made a decision to do it and you have something much deeper. Trust. This is a difficult one. Some people are too trusting to the point of gullibility, while some are too paranoid. Trust involves really getting to know the person unbiased so you can find out if you can trust them and to what extent. Trust is so important to a relationship or friendship and without it the friendship is pretty hollow. Paranoia. This one is difficult because humans fear losing what they love. However, if you can't trust the person you are with, then you are in constant fear. There is also irrational fears and abandonment issues that one must get over that causes that fear. Paranoia can lead to people not having a life, having friends outside of a relationship, or spending time away from each other, which is extremely healthy for a good relationship. It makes the friendship or relationship richer and allows new ideas to deepen the friendship. Doormat. This is a person who is so trusting that they are gullible, or will roll over for the person and will allow that person they love to use them. Each one of these five elements are needed to love someone in a philosophical way, otherwise it is no longer real love. Most of the time it is very difficult to reach the state of love for your fellow human beings because we are all psychologically damaged in some way. It requires facing our own demons and working through our own self-destructive aspects. This philosophy is what I believe the Bible is referring to as agape. If it is an emotion, then I have yet to see it, other than a warm feeling that any good group hypnosis like Hitler can use to rally for a cause. So unless you're talking about agape as a philosophy, I'm going to assume you're talking about love between men. So what is love? Well, love is a word that covers two whole branches of thought, that of philosophy and behavioral sciences. In a sense, it is a branch of science all to itself. It can describe things that have not been defined or processed without bias until recently. It can describe things that make us uniquely human, or that which describes what makes us an animal. I remember people saying that love just can't be understood, but they hyped it up so much. I was told that it wasn't something you should think about because no one could ever understand it while the divorce rate was skyrocketing. The idea of love is so hyped that people consider it unique to humans and it's true in a few cases. Love has been abused and is pretty much expected even when you don't mean it. It's so vague yet so powerful. It gives people a good feeling when saying it even if two different people mean two completely different things. I hope this presentation helped raise some awareness so that a fixable relationship can be better understood, bad relationships can be escaped, and we can all better cultivate empathy for our fellow beings on this tiny speck we call Earth.